Not the hell. Not the hell. Chipo, what the hell are you doing? What are you doing? Alright, what's up everybody and welcome to my 8th episode of Demiji Adventures and right now I'm at the 5th station of Mount Fuji that's approximately 2,305 meters above sea level and actually I'm with my boy Nadi from Nigeria Hey, what's up everyone? Today is my first day climbing Mount Fuji It's gonna be a breeze <laughs> Okay, but first, equipment check Okay, so I have the 50 millimeter 1.8 to give you those nice you no know, portrait shots gorilla part because I'm gonna be doing the vlog and for those nice clean smooth cinematic shots I have the uh, this, the handheld gimbal I'm not sure what you call it so forgive me and of course another you know, GoPro you can never go wrong with the GoPros you know all right so for those of you who don't know where Mount Fuji is Mount Fuji is located in the Yamanashi prefecture and that is around the two hour bus ride from uh, Shinjuku and right now we're at the fifth station I think we're somewhere over here, the fifth station of Mount Fuji. I think you have around like 10 stations until you reach the top of Mount Fuji. So yeah, we're gonna start our hike from there and it's gonna take like a six hour hike. So uh, before any hike, it's really important to eat lo lots of carbs like you know, curry. Because uh, you know, when we get up there, there's, there's no food. Well, there is food, but it's really expensive. So you really need to like, you know, charge up before you go. So yeah, before the hike, you know, we have to fill out, fill out our body with some, you know, carbs. You know, get energized for the, for the hike. What do you think, Nadi? This is good. I recommend you guys, when you come to Ogome, you should come to this restaurant to get it. This food is good. One more important thing. You know, once you come to Mount Fuji, you know, when it comes to, you know, keeping the environment clean, it's so strict. You can't throw anything and... I recommend not bringing so much stuff because you literally can't throw it anywhere. Man is the master of thought, the molder of character, and the maker and shaper of condition, environment, and destiny. Most men fail, not through lack of education or agreeable personal qualities, but from lack of dogged determination, from lack of dauntless will. Situations, even dramatic situations like bankruptcy, divorce, death, and economic recession, cannot directly cause a feeling of any kind until the brain interprets and creates a story about said situation. Sadness, depression, frustration, upset, and anxiety can only be produced by seeing a situation and then producing an interpretation of it and then believing that interpretation. So therefore, you and I can only be overwhelmed by our thoughts about something, never the thing itself. Usually, what we most fear doing is what we most need to do. That phone call, that conversation, whatever the action might be, it is fear of unknown outcomes that prevents us from doing what we need to do. Define the worst case, accept it, and do it. Alright, so we're done looking at the sunrise. And now me and Nadia are going to go around the Fujisan crater. So, yeah, like last year I tried to do that, but, you know, things happened and I couldn't do that. So, I'm going to show you some amazing amazing scene so far all right so I'm gonna give you an idea how you know the Fujisan crater looks like ah uh, my favorite rope you know when I when I see this rope you know what that means yeah I have to cross over all right look at that and there's an insane trailer that goes round up and back the place where we saw the sunrise. Here's another view of the crater. Not that deep though. Alright, so yeah, the main reason why I really wanted to climb Mount Fuji for the second time is because uh, I basically wanted to send a message to the Zambian people and the African people, especially the young generation, 
when it comes to adventurous stuff like you know mountain hiking you know white water rafting and doing those you know extreme sports the younger generation tend to back off on those situations and you end up finding you know foreign people coming to our country you know doing those activities and I just feel kind of sad for them like they don't have this you no know, adventurous spirit probably some do but from my perspective uh, most of them don't so me as a Zambian as an African in Japan you know doing these you know, extreme sports or doing these adventurous activities I hope you know, one day I can encourage you know, those young guys and young women to come over to Japan you know try this out all right so I just came down on Fuji and I decided to send some really fancy uh, cards to of course my family back in Zambia and to my close friend in Canada all right everybody I'm gonna be closing off the vlog and I hope you enjoyed my second trip to Mount Fuji. If you guys would like to know what I do on a daily basis here in Japan, please follow me on Instagram. And I'll be really grateful if you guys could you know, subscribe to my channel. You know, that would really encourage me to go out there and show you some more you know, interesting and more adventurous places. And hopefully I encourage some of you to take the risk, try something new, and most of all, most of all, break the routine.